Okay, we'll show how to <coughs> program a latest Tramaker version T23 for GPRS um, mode. A few steps to be taken. Uh, <coughs> and here's the unit. So, first things first, let's take a SIM card. This is uh, my evolution in Malaysia, but works also in um, China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, and Malaysia. So, uh, first thing is to activate the um, the um, <coughs> SIM card, and uh, you go to this operator website, and um, uh, this is something that I have access. Uh, so I'll do it for the customers. SIM card. I search for the proper SIM card here. The last four digits in this. ICC ID, which is a very long, 20 digit long name, found it here, and I put a nickname because otherwise you <clears throat> you can't really remember these numbers. So uh, based on the customer here, I have it. Um, okay, Tanabaza one. Let's take that as a number or the name ID. Very easy. Then I click the uh, activation button here. Confirm. And it takes some time, uh, one or two minutes, so I leave it running. Meanwhile, I take this SIM card out. This is very familiar from all mobile users. Tramigo has a SIM card, the newest version, and made more difficult for the access, so it's under the screws, so you have to unscrew the back cover Let's do, to make it more difficult for people to uh, uh, take the SIM card out if you have some <coughs> some ill thoughts in your mind okay and it hits here sits here at the bottom To lift this lip here a little bit. It sits there inside. Before I close it, I take a look at the email number, which is also printed in this box here, down here. Because I have to um, pair these two devices, SIM is still being activated. Uh, for pairing, I need to go to another website here this pairs the uh, SIM card and the uh, Tramigo unit together no other pair of device and SIM card <coughs> will then work only these two for this And um, I'm just going to send a message uh, to the operator that takes a few hours. Okay, please pair. And the um, email, uh, <coughs> the uh, CCID number is in this case 20 digits long. But the last four digits are the important one. The operator also wants to know the PUK number.
and then imported the email number, unique identification. Here and also customer's address for future billing. This Malaysian Myo SIM card actually comes with eight megabytes of free data, and uh, it should last about four to six months. After that, that the charge will be ten ringgit per month um, per vehicle. So the customer contact is here. Let's put the email address as well. That's it. Pairing request has been done. Let's see how our activation. This is the page where you can uh, pair yourself, um, although in this case I just sent it to the operator. First name, middle name, last name of the person, company name, company number, registration number, contact number, email address, the ICC ID number, email number, PUK number, those I gave. Purchase dates, registration date, and that's it. Click a button. And it shows unit is already activated so this customer is okay I just logged out from there and now we are ready to put the battery inside Tromico battery is for this model is the same as for the previous one T22 T23 are using the same battery which is an excellent idea battery has only a six month warranty so be prepared to sell more batteries in the future um, I think after one year a lithium-ion battery starts to lose its capability to take full charge so slowly dying and after two or three years better change it Tramigo T23 doesn't go dead if the battery goes dead if it's connected to a vehicle, so no problem. However, the earlier model T22 goes dead if the battery goes dead, even if um, it's connected to the car, so that's more important to change the batteries before they actually get too old. Done. Okay, it's working. Got three lights. Blinking green light means that it's not being connected, it's working but without recharging capability. Uh, blue light, no GPS signal, but that can be easily changed. I have an antenna outdoors, so I will just connect my outdoor antenna here because I don't have a um, very good GPS signal here inside, it at least faster. The red light in the center means that it's not, the SIM card is not registered until now. Now it's connected to the network, but it has to be programmed. So, network connection is okay, no GPS signal. And uh, <clears throat> finally, we connect it to the PC using the, uh, the box comes with a USB cable like this, flat mini USB cable, connect it there, and to my PC, like that, okay, and now we just have to find the Tramigo Manager, we have a special Tramigo Manager for T23, which is opening up. Um, <clears throat> here. And 
no, it's really the unit we can uh, first of all uh, name this unit but let's do the configuration first load configuration file click here and this particular <coughs> configuration file is written to um, teach the SIM card to communicate with the um, with this unit to the iCloud service we have in Malaysia. This iCloud service M M1 uh, move is 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 actually um, serving all these nations I mentioned before, Southeast Asia. Now doing the loading it takes a while so we'll just forget it for a while and take a quick look at the cloud service which looks like here like this you need username and password and anybody who knows this these two username and password can access this vehicle location anywhere in the world so let's look at one unit I installed last Friday it's doing. Login is successful and um, this is the vehicle here on the left, just one vehicle under this password. Battery is 77% charged. Click that and it shows the last location. So, however, this car has now been sitting for two days uh, waiting for the license plate. It's a brand new truck and um, so it's just uh, reporting every three hours its location. Uh, the last location was sent 1126 which is about <coughs> two, two hours 45 minutes from <coughs> previous from now and um, that means that in 15 minutes time it will send the next location. Here we can click this blue location data and it shows the location here in this case in Malaysia you can zoom in like that and then you can choose different kinds of maps we have um, two digital maps here it was, this was MapQuest as the standard open layers map it looks a bit different the map comes from the internet of course so uh, here we go and then we also <coughs> also if you go back to MapQuest we, we also have a satellite version here so although zooming in may not be possible to as close detail as with the digital map. Okay, anyway, we have a satellite lock now from outside to pull my it off, so it's fully satellite location connected. Very well, we leave here. Uh, the <coughs> summary reports give um, uh, the status report, for example, with what is the GPS signal strength, mobile phone signal strength, temperature battery charge level and then trip reports if you go back in the history here I was actually using this particular device before it was installed in a vehicle driving around Malaysia or capital of Malaysia called Lumpur in a motorbike and uh, it gives you trip start reports and then uh, trip reports trip report here for example saying start at 26 minutes past 10 160 meters south of Armani Terrace condominium this is my location and give the coordinates end at um, 1101 140 meters south of Jalan Sultan Ismail Jalan Raja Chulan interchange Bukit Bintang 
coordinate street time was 35 minutes distance 20.57 kilometers maximum speed 104 kilometers average speed 35 kilometers per hour quite a lot of traffic jams idle time 14 minutes so that comes all automatic and storing the computer memory forever so you will never get full and clicking any of these these buttons will give you then the um, the um, the location and uh, you can zoom in into great detail this was actually I think the place where I did the installation okay showing even on which lane I was driving. All right, let's leave that. Look out. And uh, Tramico Manager has stopped loading, so it's ready to go. We're waiting for the pay pairing confirmation from the operator, which usually comes in a few hours' time. Um, so it's already reporting location. We can in this command window send the command find, and it gives park at Armenia Terrace condominium. So this is the location here. But we can name this location as Tramigo Malaysia. Now it's um, sorry, actually uh, at place. That's the, that's the command to add locations and now we ask where it is and it says Tramigo Park at Tramigo Malaysia. That's the unit name. Let's change that to um, the customer, company name. Now it's called by the company name. You can add several vehicles <coughs> under the same password ID. But it's ready to run. At least after a few hours when we get this pairing confirmation from the operator. That's it.